Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Malachi House Life Center Church, Amen. where the Spirit of the Lord is alive. And so we welcome you again, Malachi House Life Center family. God bless you. Thank you all for tuning in and all of our family and friends. We appreciate you. This is, again, we're broadcasting from our home, and we call it Lonania. And so we're so excited about God giving us this opportunity to still get the gospel out, to share his word. And um, Pastor Waverly is going to bring a right now word for all of us. And before we get started, I do want to just share a, a prayer of um, just a prayer to just make sure that we're all on one accord. Father God, we just thank you for this opportunity for us to come together once again. Father, we don't take it for granted, oh God, that you're allowing us to come in fellowship with one another, oh God, allowing us to bring the gospel out. And so, Father, we just thank you that everyone that's hearing this word, whether now or later, oh God, will have an ear to hear and a heart to receive your word, God. Father, we know it's a lot going on around the world right now, God, but we know that you are a great God, that you're on time, God, that you're a right now, God. And so we thank you for everything, oh God, even those that's going through trials and tribulations right now, God, we know God is just such a time as this, that that too shall pass, and we pray for those that lost loved ones, oh God, we pray for those that are sick right now, God, we pray, God, that we know, Lord, that your grace and your mercy still abide, God, and that your miracle working power still works today, and so, Lord, we stand in agreement, and we know, God, that through your word, that you will bring comfort, you bring peace, and you'll bring understanding to everyone that can hear your word today. And so we thank you and pray for Pastor Waverly, God, that he'll be able to share that word the way that you gave it to him, oh God, and we'll be able to receive it and live off it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, we have amen. a special guest for you today. We have our very own psalmist with us, Elder Shante, and she's gonna take us right into the presence of the Lord. So Elder Shante, go right ahead and bring us the ministry of the word in song. Praise him. Though the storms keep on raging in my life and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day still the hope that lies within is reassured as I keep my eyes upon the distant shore, I know he leads me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storms don't cease, Sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Yes, God. Still the hope that lies within is reassured. Yes, God. As I keep my eyes upon the distant shore, I know he leads me safely to the blessed place he has prepared. But if the storms don't cease, and, and if the wind keeps on blowing in my life, and my soul 
sometimes, sometimes in this life, you're going to be tossed by the waves and the currents that seem so fierce. Hey, but in the word of God, I'm gonna make up. Hey, yes, I do. He keeps me steadfast, unmovable, despite the time. But if the storm, if the storm, don't cease and if the winds keeps on blowing in my life and my soul has been Yes, I sold. praise. Let's give God the praise for that. My soul is anchored. God is so good today. And I thank God for what God is doing today. And I do have a word this morning. And I pray that this word will be an encouraging word for you today, for years to hear. And my title this morning, God has given me to keep your eyes on Jesus when you're in the storm. How many know, realize that when Jesus walked on earth, he demonstrated his power over nature. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you are the one who walked on the water and rebuked the fiery gods. And at your command, God, the wind stopped and the great calm prevailed. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. We put our faith and trust in you, God, because God, you are our protection. And Father God, even at these trying times now, God, we ask, oh God, for protection. God, as we keep our eyes, Father, focus on you and not the fiery bats of the storm, God. Lord, we know my soul, we trust in you, God, and I know, God, we'll be there. I ask you, God, to protect our homes, protect our families, God, from the elements. And I rely on the grace and your mercy and your love. And I ask you, God, to stretch forth your hand and break the power of that, of this, of that dangerous storm. This, Lord, and I ask, oh God, I know, God, that you are God because the wind and the waves still know that your name 
And we give all the praises and all the honor, Lord, to you, God. This is a day that you have made, and we shall rejoice in this day and be glad in it. We thank you, and we celebrate, celebrate your name, God. Each and every day, God, we get up, God, and call your name, call your son, Jesus, Lord. We celebrate you, because we know, God, what you've done for us, oh God. And so we do not walk by fear, God. We walk by faith, Lord. Because, God, we know, God, we belong to you. We belong to the devil. We belong to the enemy. God, we cry out to you this morning. God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And I want to go right into the word this morning. My title is to keep your eyes on Jesus when we are in the storm. Now, I'm going to be coming out of Matthew 14 and Mark. Two chapters, and I'm going to talk about the passing a great storm in the sea. And Jesus walked to his disciples on a rough water. Jesus sent them out into the bad weather. The problem was the storm, but when Jesus came to the disciples, he walked on top of the very problem itself. Without getting rid of the storm, he overcame it. He overpowered it. Now, Peter was able to overcome it by himself. But he kept his eyes on Jesus. He asked if he could come out of the water. To as long as he looked at Jesus, he was fine. Understand what I'm saying. As long as he looked at Jesus, he was fine. But when he took his eye, come on somebody, off of Jesus, the focus, come on somebody, he began to see. Only when Peter adjusts his focus back on Jesus did he receive what he needed. Watch this. Whatever you may be facing this morning or in the past or in the future, if you focus on your circumstances, the circumstances will overwhelm you. They will overpower you. They will swallow you up. They will eat you up. So Jesus come and invited you to him in the midst of the situation. He, he asked you to step out and faith. But he give you success only when you keep your eyes on him. It's hard for Jesus to, 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 to hold you up when you put your eyes on your circumstances. You will become assumed by your circumstances if you choose to focus on them. Like Peter, he sunk. If you choose to put your eyes on Jesus, then he can lift you up upon the stormy weather and the stormy, stormy seas. Watch this. Jesus, having moved from Peter, started to sink. Peter focused, moved. Only when Peter adjusts his focus back on Jesus, he received what he needed. But when he took his eyes off of Jesus, now look at look at the word. And I, I said I'm, I'm I'm starting off with Matthews and Mark, both both of those. That's related to the same thing that I'm talking about. The focus of the story it is, it is, it is, it isn't on Jesus. It's on the sight, especially on Peter. They are the one that was in trouble. It was not Jesus. Jesus was not in trouble. They were the one that needed help in the midst of the storm. Storms, watch this, storms sometime in life Psalms are guarded tight challenge. Sometimes they are major failures. Sometimes psalms focus on children. Sometimes they are health related. Sometimes they involve around our job and around our social issues. Psalms happen. But what happened, Matthews wanted us to see this morning, is that when they happen, what do you do? 
That's the question. Because I want to I want to let you know if you keep living, a storm will come your way. When the waves get high and the and the wind blow, and we think we're going down to find confident knowing that Christ will be there for us in the midst. Of us. My God, my God. Hi. This is why I say it's so important to have a relationship with Christ. It's so important because I want to let you know this morning, a storm can come. We're going through a storm right now. My God. But I want to let you know that there in the midst of a storm, in the midst of a storm could be health challenges. He is there in the, in the midst of your divorce. My God, some of you are hurting right now because you, you divorce and, and things they just didn't leave right. He can find a, a missile transition of the work of a painful failure. Sometimes Christ comes to us in a word of, of songs. Come on, somebody. He'll come to us in a word of feeling that God is talking right to us through the song. Like the minister song this morning, anger to my soul, anger to my soul. Sometimes Christ can be found in the just reading a newspaper, picking up a magazine, or, or watching something on TV, some religious that, and you and you and you think that the word speak is speaking to my ears. God is everywhere. God speak through the air. Come on, somebody. Sometimes God come through us to a friend who stand by us right on our side. They're right there when you need. Sometimes Christ come in the form of a a pastor. Someone is teaching a word. Someone is caring about his sheep. Someone that know Lord, that love God. Someone is keeping his courage in you. Yes, Christ come to us in the storm of life. Christ's hand will be there stretching out for us. They hold him. But you got to grab on. You got to grab his hand when he stretched his hand. But you have to take hold of that hand and, and keep your eyes on Jesus. He won't sink. Too many of God people are sinking. Too many of God people are trying to do it by yourself. Yes, Christ come to us in a storm of life. But we must keep our eyes on him and take hold to him. If not, we will see. My God, I'm, I'm so glad that I found Jesus. I'm so glad that I that I know his name. I'm, I'm so glad when the storm comes in my life, I, I can stand flat foot and I can give God all the praises because I know God's going to pull me through. I know God's going to pull me through. He has not let me down yet. And I thank God to have a relationship with him. And I want to let you know at this point that Peter forgot. Jesus came in the midst of a storm. And Peter got out of the boat his eyes on Jesus and he walked towards him. Come on, somebody. But it was God and the wind was blowing. And Peter got distracted and he took his eyes off Jesus. And then what happened was he took his eyes off Jesus. You know the story. He sunk. He tried to go in and do it alone. Perhaps he got a little overconfident, thinking he, could, he didn't need Christ. But he started going down. So Christ had to catch him. And the word of the Lord says, man of little faith, said Jesus. Why did you, why did you doubt me? Why did you turn from me? You, you should have trust me and then you would have, you would, you wouldn't have saved me. But like Pete, but like, but, but like Peter, we sometimes do the same thing, don't we? We get a little overconfidence because thinking that we are going well all by ourselves. Ah, and we forget about Jesus. Ah, 
I know that so many that have cried out to Jesus. They're hurting and they need things. And many have come to the house of God. And many have prayed for individuals. And oh, I got it going on. I got a, I got a job and I'm making more money than I ever made before. Come on, somebody. And begin to think that uh, I did it all by myself. And I already remind yourself, you haven't done it all by yourself. And then begin to take the eyes off of him. We stop praying. Come on, somebody. We start mission worship. And we really go our own way. Forget all about what Jesus has done for us. Come on, somebody. But then the storm comes suddenly, we realize that we are sinking. We cannot do it without Jesus. Now, some, when they started going down, the mistake of holding on, they began to start drinking. And some begin to do drugs and thinking that if they can just get high, it will keep them from sinking. Come on, somebody. I got to find something else because I'm empty on the inside. Now, some turn to their friends and their family members hoping that perhaps they will prop them up. And they might for a little while, but later on, they will get tired too. And they'll get tired and they'll begin to sink and let you go. And this is why you have to, to hold on to Jesus. You can't hold on to men. You cannot put all your faith in an individual. You got to hold on to Jesus. You got to keep your eye on him. Yes, we can clean a lot of things when we're sinking in the water. But what Matthew wants us to see is that if you want a sure thing, if you want to stay afloat, hold on to Christ. <laughs> For when our eyes is on Christ and when our hands is in his, we won't sink. And we'll come through the storm the way God intended for us. There's going to be some storms. What do you do when it's storm? But when we take hold of Christ's hand, we keep our eyes on him and we won't see. You know, if, if, if I was in church this morning, I'm preaching from my house this morning. But if I was in church this morning, I will tell somebody, I will say, I will say, tell somebody to say, I'm in a storm right now. I refuse to quit. I'm in a storm right now, but I, I will not give up. I, I'm in a storm right now, but, I, but I'm going to keep on trying. I'm going to keep on fighting. I, I'm going to keep on digging. I'm going to keep on scratching. I'm going to keep on. My God, my God. Here they were in a, in a midst of a sea. And while Jesus is up on the mountaintop, and Mark Gospel says that Jesus saw them crossing. He saw them trying to roll their way out. He saw them laboring, struggling, and trying to end the time for the, the point. He went up, the Bible says, he went up on a mountaintop. Come on, somebody. Overlooking the sea. And he saw them their entire time, even though they could not see him. Jesus saw them. They could not see him, but he was watching them their time. I want you to know you might be going to church every Sunday. You might have a Bible in your hand. You might look to Paul. Come on, somebody. Outside of parents, praising the Lord. But I want you to know, God sees everything. 
We cannot hide from him. And I'm talking to somebody who's listening to me this morning. It's time to get it right. Because God is the only one that we can get it right. It's not about your title. It's not about who you are. Come on, somebody. Sometimes people would, on the outer periods, and let people say, I'm a Christian, but go home and, and act like a heathen, cursing the wife out, doing things that is not right. But God is saying this, I'm watching you. I am to get it right. God said, I'm not judging you. I just want you to get it right because I love you. Watching them. Jesus was watching them to go where he told them to go. He was watching them trying to do what he told them to do. Watching them trying to trust him in the midst of an issue. Trying to believe him in, in the spite of their trouble. Trying to obey him in, in the spite of the storm. But it caused them to realize without him on board, they could not make any progress. Without him on board, they could not reach their destiny. They didn't know that, that which way to go without the Lord. They couldn't be successful, come on somebody, without the Lord. They couldn't get anywhere. I want you to look at somebody in your house this morning. And unless God is going with you, you ain't going nowhere. You got to understand that if God is not there and with you, huh? But God is not there. But I want you to know that, huh, that God is in your house. Huh? When you put God in your house this morning, you are able to go wherever God called you to go. Huh? You are able to do and feel your destiny where God called you to go. Huh? If you put God in your house first, if you keep your eyes on God, huh? I don't care what the world say. I don't care what the world try to do to you. But if you keep your eyes on God, huh? I'm telling you, you can get in that boat. Huh? You can get in that boat with God. Uh, and you can find your way where you need to go. Uh, look at somebody and tell them, uh, I say the Lord, uh, the Lord is in the boat with me. If the Lord is in the boat, uh, you want to make it. Uh, you want to be successful. Uh, tell somebody uh, that you are an overcomer. Uh, you will not be defeated. You will not be destroyed. Uh, you will not be delayed. Uh, but you will not be, be denied. Uh, you got to tell somebody. Sometimes you got to talk to yourself. Uh, Sometimes you got to talk to yourself with nobody around. Her. I'm going to talk to myself. I mean, I'm mean, i going to say I'm terminal, no matter how dark it is. I want to talk to myself this morning. And the devil's trying to hold me back. But I'm going to talk to myself. I'm determined no matter how rough it gets. I'm determined that I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to my destiny to my goal. My dream will come true. My vision will come to pass. I don't care how hard it gets, but I'm going to make it. I want you to tell somebody in your house, if nobody there, get on the phone and, and call somebody. Tell somebody I'm going to make it. I don't care how bad it gets. I'm going to make it. The storm may be serious. The problems may be big, but I'm going to keep, keep on going until a change comes. There's a change going to come when you keep your eyes on God. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be fake about it. Uh, I'm in a dark place. Uh, sometimes you got to make, uh, sometimes you say, uh, somebody else how things going. Uh, you say, I'm very, uh, everything's not going all right, but you know it's not. Uh, sometimes you might be messed up. Uh, I can't see my way out. Uh, I don't have a solution. Uh, I do have some problems, but I'm not going to roll over. I'm not going to roll over and play dead. I'm not going to play dead, but I'm going to fall. I'm not going to fall apart. I'm going to make it. You got to tell yourself I'm going to make it. You might be on a ship this morning. You might be on a storm, but I'm going to keep my eye. I'm going to keep on rolling. I'm going to keep on rolling in the storm. I'm going to keep on. I'm going to keep on shouting until I make it. You got to give God the praise on that one. Because the devil tried to get in your mind. If I can get in your mind and put doubt in your mind, and you be thinking doubt, you think you would never be overcome. Oh, come on, somebody. Sometimes you got to talk to yourself. Sometimes you got to get with the Lord, you and him. 
and no one around her. You ain't got to call nobody. You ain't got to call your pastor. You ain't got to call your brother, your mama. You just call on God. When you call on God, I know God is right there. I know God will pull you up. When you're sinking in the ground, God's going to pull you up. And you got to know that God will do that. Tell somebody, if I don't make it, it won't be for lack of trying. If I don't make it, it won't be because I quit. If I don't make it, there they were in the middle of the night time, in the middle of the night and a stormy sea. No starlight, no moonlight, no nothing but blackness. There they were in the middle of a storm. They was weak, they was weary, they was fearful, they were nerd uncertainly. The wind was whooping, the storm was raising, and the rain was pouring. And in the middle of the shadow, all of a sudden, they see Jesus walking on the sea. Come on, somebody. Walking through the storm. They see Jesus coming, the storm in the midst of the turmoil. In the middle of the night, they see him in that mess. In the middle of trouble, in the middle of the storm, but all of a sudden, what happened? They noticed something. They were in the middle of the storm. It was pitch black outside the wind blowing real hard. And all of a sudden, they see Jesus coming in the storm. But he didn't look the way they expected him to look. He did not appear the way they thought he would appear. Look at the person in your house this morning and tell them the next thing you want to see coming through your storm will be Jesus. That's what you want to see coming through your storm. He might not appear the way you expect him to appear. He might not look the way you thought he would look. But the next thing you will see coming through your storm is going to be Jesus. Look at somebody in your house where you're at right now. And I want you to say, here he comes. So here he comes, Pastor. He's coming. He's coming walking the water. He's coming through your storm. Somebody. He's coming moving in your problems. He's coming, moving in your mess. He's coming, moving in your situation. He's coming, moving for your foreclosure, moving in your conviction. God is coming. He's coming, somebody. The Bible says you saw Jesus walking on the sea. Coming near to the ship. They were so messed up. At first, they didn't, have, they didn't know who he was. Come on, sometimes I... You get so messed up and you can't recognize Jesus when he comes. See, they saw Jesus in a storm coming closer and closer and there was a friend. Because he did not look like people that they thought he was supposed to look. He did not move like they expect him to move. They thought he was a spirit. Bible said, but he was moving in the natural. He said, it is me, be not afraid. I'm talking to somebody this morning. Some of you are afraid of things in your life. God got plans for you, but you're still holding on because you're afraid to step out. He was telling the disciples he was the great I am, I am. He said, be not afraid. He told me, come on somebody, to tell somebody this morning, I am, I am, be not afraid. I'm talking to somebody this morning. If you listen to me this morning, God said, don't be afraid. He said, I'm your healer. Don't be afraid. I am the deliverer. Don't be afraid. I'm a problem solver. 
God said, don't be afraid. I am a need meter. Be not afraid. I'm your overrocker, the Lord your shepherd. I'm your over shalom, the Lord your peace. I'm your over shadow, the Lord and brother. I am your protector. I am your fortune. I am your strong. I am your way maker. I am your need meter. Come on, somebody. God said, I am your marriage. My God, I am your bill pair. I am your finance planner. I am your salvation. I am. Be not afraid. With all of these things, why are you scared? Why are you scared? A lot of times, I focus get off because we don't have our eyes on Jesus. I don't want to pick you up. Once, once, once the disciples realized that who Jesus was, they recognized that it was him in the midst of a storm. The Bible said they was willing and ready to receive him into the ship. See, in the ship where Jesus was, came in the ship. Those who believed, they was getting ready for the blessing. See, when you put Christ in your house, in your life, come on, it's time to be ready for your blessing. Now, I don't know how God's going to bless you. But I do know if you, if you put the Lord first in your house. I do know if you keep your eyes on Jesus. God is saying, uh, get ready for your blessing. God is saying uh, that I'm coming into your stomach. I'm going to make sure that you make it to your destiny. Come on, somebody told me to tell you this morning. It is not going to take a long time. Some of you have been waiting a long time. But God said now, if you believe in me, God told me to tell somebody to get ready. Get ready for your breakthrough this morning. I'm saying somebody listen this morning. It's going to get ready. God's going to bless them. God's going to do a turnaround in your life. I'm talking to somebody this morning through the airways this morning or Facebook, wherever who listen. But God's going to be ready to bless you this morning if you put your eyes on God. God is saying it's time. It's time to put your eyes on Him. Get your eyes over the world. The world is destruction. You cannot make it in the world if you don't have me. You might think you're going to make it. You might think you're going to make it, but all you find is this your blessing. The devil will come. Huh? He will give you a temporary blessing. He will give you everything. Huh? He will ask you, I'll give you the world. Huh? I'll give you this and give you that. Huh? You got to watch what's coming in your mind. Huh? You're thinking of stuff, huh? what the enemy has promised you, but it's not. Huh? It's all a lie. And it's going to come, I give you the world, huh? I give you the music. You got to watch what goes in your ear, huh? You got to watch what you listen to. But when you begin to start believing what the enemy has told you, but you got to know, huh? That God got you on a journey. That God got you on a journey. He said the rest of your journey is going to be smooth sellers. Huh? You got to know when you put your eyes on God, huh? you got to say it to yourself. Sometimes you got to get up and speak a word for yourself. Huh? He said the rest of the journey is going to be smooth selling because the worst part is over. You got to believe what God said. The worst part is over. The storm is over. God told me to tell you the rough, the rough stretch is over. The rough patch is over. The channel is over. The struggle is over. The rest way is going to be a swift smooth. He said the rest of the way is going to be smooth. You got to understand huh, what God is. Huh? God is all powerful. God is all powerful. If God said it, huh, it will be done. Huh? God promised you. Huh? God promised you. Come to me. Huh? I will give you a new life. Huh? I will take away the pickle worms. Huh? I will take away those dark things. Huh? What you got to go to? Huh? You got to hear what God said. Huh? God never told you 
it will be easy. He never said that. He said there will be trials. He said there will be some tribulation. And God said, if you trust me, God never promised us the world to be easy. But he, but he does promise that he is bigger than the storm we face in the world. And he always working for our good, even in a place where we can't see, even in a circumstance we don't fully understand. He is with us right in the midst of all we walk through. Our style might look different in life, but they have an opportunity to change. And God is the only one who has the power to take what is seen tragedy facet and turn the situation around. It may not happen as quickly as we like. It may not feel like a struggle. We may find ourselves lonely for another way, but blessing will come my way. For the time, the way God works, the good will shine through and through. You got to give God the praise in this place this morning. I want you to give God all the praise, all the praise in this house this morning. He's a worthy God. And some of those difficult times in life, I learned the power of praying God words back to him. You got to pray. Sometimes you got to pray. You got to pray. Don't worry about who's watching you. Don't worry about nobody. Sometimes you just got to pray. I'm alone. I'm alone in the hole that built to slow our soul to refresh our spirit and cause hope to rise above the pain we might be feeling. Yes, sometimes you will feel some pain. Yes, sometimes you'll be hurt, but through our circumstances, may not be immediately changed, but, but through our heart, uh, they still be hurting. We are, we, we are reminding this truth uh, to set our eyes on him. You have to keep your eyes on Jesus, and that the best places for them to be in all the life. Uh, he is sure to take. He knows your way. He sees your pain. He has to got you, and he's still at work, even though the most difficult times. Uh, you got to give God. He is our rock. He is our shelter when storms come. He is our security. No matter what. You are our rock, God. God, with you, God, we may not be alone. When the wind raises around us, God, we have our safe retreat. You alone are our refuge, and even near to us, we pray, God. Father, you whistle one word, the wind, calm, the storm, calm, God. One word, God. One word from you, God. The wind and the rays, it rises, the creep and turn, but God, one word. Lord, one word, one word, Lord, one word. Thank you. Father, you said, when we have trouble all around us, but we are not defeated, we do not know what to do, but we do not give up in hope of living. We are persecuted, but God does not leave us. We are hurt. We are hurt sometimes, but we are not destroyed. We are not destroyed. Lord, even when I have trouble all around me, you will keep me alive. With an enemy and the, and the anger, you will reach down and, and save me by the power. Jesus said, do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. God said, I will guide them along the paths and, and they will not know. I will make the darkness become light for them and the rough road smooth. You got to give God the praise because God did not give us a spirit of fear. Jesus said, I come, I came, I'm here, I'm here. May you not, not know who I am, but I'm telling you, I'm from my father. I come down here to do my father's business. It's time for you to turn from those things of this world and put your eyes on. God says, too many people running that stuff in the world, but you got to start looking at me. I'm the one that's created the earth. I'm the one that created the trees. 
I'm the one that gave you life, the life. You know your time. You said the flowers fade and the grass, whatever, but you know your word stands forever. God's word stands forever. You got to understand, one day we're going to wither away from this earth. It is not a place that we're going to last forever. But if you put your eyes on God, if you can understand what I'm saying this morning, I'm talking to somebody. God says, now you put his eye, put your eyes on him before you can have eternal life. That's why I come, I breathe breath in you. I blow breath in you. I live on the inside of you. Is now the time to take all that darkness out of you and come to me. I am the light. I am the way. Nobody can come to me but come to the Father. You have to come. And God sent him here to heal our broken heart. Even though we're going through what we're going through, we never thought we'll see these times like this. But it's happening right today. So I pray that we as people, God, people can get together. Call everybody you know. And let's pray. Yes, we are, we are in the house. We are told to keep our distance. But you know what? The devil cannot stop our voice. The devil cannot, they cannot stop us from praying. We begin to have prayer service on the phone. People all over the world be, be to lift up each other. We can't have power over this, this virus that's going around. I know the doctors and scientists are trying to find a cure, but the only cure I know is Jesus. Jesus can cure everything that we are going through. So I, 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 I just submit to you today, through the words of God, will you come, will you keep your eyes on Jesus? And if you know that your loved ones that don't have their eyes on Jesus, you need to pray for them. You need to lift up the name of Jesus. You need to lift up the name of Jesus in your home. Huh? You need to lift up the name of Jesus in the schools. Huh? You need to lift up the names of Jesus in the grocery store. You need to lift up the names of Jesus wherever you might go. Huh? I don't care where you go, huh? but you never leave Jesus at home. Huh? He need to walk with you. He need to decide you each and every day. So I want to just give God the praise. Huh? Give God the praise in, your, in, in this house this morning. Put God in your house this morning. Saturate your house with the word of God. Huh? I I don't know what it takes. Uh, your house, some days your house got to be thrown out. Some days your house is not clean. It's time to clean house. Uh, I'm going to put the number of Jesus in this house. Uh, I remember upon every saint that looked like the world out of my house. And now I got Jesus. I might look strange. Uh, I don't care most of the strings uh, when you build an art, uh, but now in the house of God, uh, you got to be in your house. You might go strange the Bible says for pure people anyway, but who cares? I'm living for Jesus. Do you want to live for Jesus this morning? Give God all the praise in your house this morning, and I thank God for who he is. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I think you got to come along all right. I lost that for a minute. Hallelujah. No, that was good. To God be the glory. God is good. I'm Amen. telling you, if you didn't get anything else, if you're in a storm, know this. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Yeah. The one thing about a storm is that a storm don't last forever. It leaves. Amen. But the one thing you can count on is Jesus. Jesus is here. He's here before the storm, he's here during the storm, and he's here after the storm. So keep your eyes on Jesus, Jesus. and to God be the glory. Amen. Until we see you next time, amen? Be amen. blessed of the Lord. Be blessed. Bye. Bye.